Welcome back to GDT Tech Reviews. In this video we are going to do a detailed review and pick the top 5 best mini drones, 2022. So let us get started and the review based on our studies and small research. If you have any personal suggestion do let us know in the comment section. If you are for the first time don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more videos. We will be also providing affiliates link to purchase from Amazon. Kindly use to for best offers and purchase from anywhere in the world. So let's get started. The Evo Nano weighs just 249 grams and that means that, like the DJI Mini and Mini 2, it can be flown in more places than drones above the 250 grams weight limit. This is a key selling point because most of us are casual users who only fly occasionally when, say, on holiday, away for a weekend or shooting a family gathering. The last thing we want to do is have to jump through complicated legal hoops just so we can occasionally fly in areas considered a bit more dangerous. The Evo Nano is 142 times 94 times 55 mm when folded, a mere 4 mm longer than the Mini 2. But at 260 times 325 times 55 mm when unfolded, it has a considerably larger wingspan which you could argue gives better stability in wind, like the Mini 2. The Evo Nano is rated at level 5 for wind resistance. To be honest, you'd be hard pressed to tell the difference between the Nano and DJI Mini 2 even when on the ground, let alone in the air. They are both very similar in design through the Evo Nano's rear propeller arms fold back horizontally rather than vertically, a bonus if the obstacle avoidance is off and you reverse into a tree. Build quality is perfectly acceptable for this price point though the Nano's plastic construction does feel a tad thinner than that used on most DJI drones. Nevertheless, the Evo Nano feels so light in the hand it will probably survive most crashes, unless of course it's flown straight into a wall in sport mode. The Anafi is one of the lighter camera equipped drones on the market and that's a major benefit should it ever fall out of the sky since it is less likely to sustain major damage. In theory, anyway. The Anafi easily collapses for easy transport by simply folding in its forearms. However, its 244mm length when collapsed makes it impossible to pop in a pocket. Just as well, then, that it comes in a slim cloth covered transport case that easily fits into a small shoulder bag. Despite looking like a giant mosquito, the Anafi was actually inspired by the Humblebee. Accordingly, it has its three-axis gimbal and camera mounted directly in front of the drone, sort of like a head. This means the props will never appear in shot when the drone is moving forward at high speed. It also means the camera can be pointed 90 upwards for a unique perspective that no other drone offers. The Anafi's micro SD card slot, meanwhile, is situated just under the battery in a compartment that looks like a SIM slot for an old Nokia phone, but is easier to remove. This is where the Anafi really shines and a good thing too, since the whole purpose of these drones is to shoot high-quality video and stills. Having tested it in the field, as it were, both video and photo quality seem on par with the Mavic Air and in low-light shooting it's actually a bit better. The Potensic D50 is a lightweight drone that comes with an HD camera and several advanced features. The camera can record in 1080p and stream live video footage in 720p. It has a transmission range of around 150 meters. This is slightly less if you use the FPV feature. It also comes with a GPS module for better tracking and hovering capability. There are also a few smart flight modes that are fun to use when they work, and it comes with a flight time of around 12 to 15 minutes. It's a very light drone and as it weighs less than 250 grams, it means you will not need to register the drone if you live in the USA, Canada or the UK. If you live anywhere else, there is no weight restriction if you are just going to be flying for recreational purposes. However, as drone laws seem to be fluid, please to check what the rules are wherever you live and make sure you comply with them fully. Its lightweight design also makes it a suitable drone to take on your travels and since it's not a very big drone, Packing it away in your luggage should not be too much of an issue. There is a micro SD card slot on the side of the drone where you can record your videos and images on. Unfortunately, you do not get a card with the drone package, so you will need to purchase one separately. The maximum capacity it can take is 32 GB. Like most of the other Potensic drones, it comes with brushed motors, 
this is to be expected for cheap drones, it's not a big issue, you just have to remember to clean them on a more regular basis. As you can see, it's a really small drone so there is less chance to cause any harm when flying it. That's the no. One reason, why it's a good drone for beginners. Also, it has an unusual symmetric shape. Because of that, it may be hard sometimes to tell which is the front and the back of the drone. The drone can be purchased in four color options, red, yellow, green, and blue. All of these colors are matched with black accents. The most interesting part of the drone is of course the huge and massive propeller guards, which is extremely useful for the drone, and its environment as well. I take a closer look at the HS450 you will observe some LED lights on the side. However, in fact, they are infrared sensors that are there because of the obstacle avoidance feature. Also, in the package, you will get a little square foam that you can stick on the bottom of the drone to act as a bumper so the drone can get more safety. For a small drone, you will get only a small battery, so don't be surprised when you see the size of the battery. The drone comes with 3. 7 volts, 300 mAh batteries. One battery will give you around 6 to 7 minutes of flight time. And because you get 3 of them you will have a flight time of around 21 minutes. These are modular batteries, so it's safe to handle them. The drone feels powerful and balanced, though the default settings feel a little spongy. This is actually intentionally smooth flight characteristics. The drone eases into movement, and comes to a stop smoothly. This feels spongy, as the drone is still moving when you've already removed your hands from the controls, but you can swap to different flight modes and adjust rates to change the feel. However, by default, the drone captures nice and smooth video from the sky, with a top speed of over 40 miles per hour, a range of over 7 miles, and a flight time nearing 40 minutes, there's not much you can't do with the Evo Light. We found the drone to handle smoothly and accurately, with a stable hover with GPS guidance. The obstacle avoidance sensors prevented collisions nicely. When flying towards ourselves, it came to a halt at about 8 feet away, then was allowed to slowly inch toward us until about 6 feet away, which was the location of our landing pad. Before the winter weather cooperated to allow us to fly outside, we attempted flight indoors. The rain clouds and wood roof of my house were enough to prevent adequate GPS connectivity, requiring me to go into the settings to manually enable Audi mode. The drone was stable enough, 